Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of MJ Every Day, a dieting based episode for you guys today based on a question that I get very frequently and have had asked for many, many years. And that question is, should I train fasted. Now let me clarify firstly guys that when we're talking about training fasted, we're not talking about cardio. That's a that's a separate question, that's a separate issue and will probably be a separate uh, episode of MJ every day. We're talking about weight based training. We're talking about going into the gym doing resistance style training with weights, that type of training fasted uh, first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, obviously, as, as we're discussing fasted. So I have a lot of people ask me about this and, and most of the time they're asking because the sorts of people that train first thing in the morning, usually very early in the morning. And because it's early in the morning, they're training on an empty stomach. They get up, chuck your gym stuff on, drive to the gym and, uh, and, and go and train. So training fasted. Now, my thoughts on this, there's, there's kind of two levels to my thoughts on this. First and foremost, the, 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 the short answer, I guess, the easy answer is that I'm personally not a big fan of training fasted. Um, I think that there are a multitude of benefits that come along with training with, with some food in your system. Um, and those benefits really kind of spawn from the fact that you've got free flowing glucose in your bloodstream and your body is able to use that glucose as a, as a source of energy um, in your glucose energy system and then to create adenosine triphosphate in your phosphate energy system. System, which is the energy system that you're primarily going to be using when you are training with weights, when you are doing resistance-based training. So I, you know, I think that both scientifically and, and anecdotally, I think any of you who have trained fasted and then trained with some food in your system would, would tend to agree with me, is that you can always train harder for longer with more intensity if you are fed as opposed to if you are training training fasted. So I think in an ideal world, uh, training fasted is not ideal. You should try and avoid it uh, if you can and, and, and try and get some, some you know, at least a good source of low GI carbohydrates in you know, an hour or so before you plan on training. If you can get some proteins and fats in, even better. Um, but at least a good low, low GI source of carbohydrates about an hour before you train is, is, is gonna give you the, the the glucose in your bloodstream to allow you to train hard, to allow you to train long and, and, and stimulate more muscle growth. That being said, I do have a completely separate train of thought when it comes to training fasted as well. And that takes into account that I know a lot of you who ask this question, who ask what my thoughts are on training fasted, I know a lot of you, that's when you can train. That's when training fits into your lifestyle. You can't train, you know, uh, after work at, at night time. You can't train in the middle of the day. You can't train in the afternoon. You can't train at another time when it's convenient for you to get a few meals in or at least get a meal in. The only time you can train, the only time that you can fit training into your schedule, fit training into your lifestyle is first thing in the morning as soon as you get up. That's the only way it's going to work for you. And because of that, my principle of if it fits your lifestyle really comes into play. And I think that if, if training fasted first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, as soon as you get up early in the morning is what you're able to fit into your lifestyle and therefore what you're able to do consistently over a long period of time, I think that that, that consistency is gonna outweigh any benefit that you may get from trying to, to train non-fasted or trying to get a meal in or trying to train at a different time of day when it, it doesn't really fit your lifestyle to, to train in a non-fasted state. So I really think that if training first thing in the morning, fasted on an empty stomach, is what fits your lifestyle, uh, that's what you should do. And don't worry about whether it's ideal or not. Don't worry about you know trying to get up an, an hour early at some ungodly hour of the morning to get some food in that you know you're not gonna be able to do consistently. Don't get too concerned with that. Just stick to the consistency of training, as, as for you guys, first thing in the morning, fasted on an empty stomach because that's what you know that you can do. And, and I think that's far gonna outweigh any benefit that you're gonna get guys of, of trying to, uh, you know, so to speak, to, to, to get a, uh, a square peg to fit in, uh, in a round hole. Guys, that's a wrap 
for today's episode of MJ Every Day on Should I Train Fasted. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn your post notifications on both on your mobile, your cell phone, or your desktop PC, and your desktop PC so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Until tomorrow, I'm coming to you from massivejoes.com.